So you've just realized that your pool has high cyanuric acid levels. Is this a problem? What should you do about it? Well, find out in this video. Hi there, I'm Louis from Pool Advisor and this video is all about high cyanuric acid in swimming pools. If this video does help you at all, please like it and subscribe to my channel, which is all about swimming pool maintenance. All right, so why is high cyanuric acid a problem for your pool? Well, cyanuric acid reacts with the chlorine that we add to our pool to protect it from, the, from being degraded by sunlight. However, once the chlorine has reacted to form this, um, this new form that's bound to um, cyanuric acid, it's not actually effective at killing algae and bacteria anymore. If you have too much cyanuric acid in your pool, virtually all of the chlorine will be in this reacted form and that means that your chlorine will basically be ineffective and unable to kill algae and bacteria, which will lead to, to algae outbreaks in your pool um, and unsanitary conditions, which are dangerous for swimmers. So with that in mind, what is the ideal cyanuric acid concentration? Well, it's generally recommended that you should be between about 30 and 50 ppm of cyanuric acid. Below 30 and you'll start to see your uh, chlorine being degraded too quickly by sunlight and above 50 and you'll start to see that your chlorine is basically ineffective at, uh, at treating the, the water in your pool and you'll start to see algae and bacteria outbreaks. So you want to be, be between that 30 and 50 ppm range. If yours is too high and you are above 50, how do you lower it? Well, the only real guaranteed way to lower your cyanuric acid level is to drain and partially refill some of the water in your, in your pool. So you want to drain some of that water that's high in cyanuric acid and add some fresh water, which should basically have zero cyanuric acid. And overall, you'll see a reduction in your concentration in your pool. You may have seen some cyanuric acid reducer products out there on the market. They have generally received poor reviews from pool owners and many consider them ineffective. So that, they're generally not recommended and that um, it's the, the drain and refill method is much preferred as this is um, the, really only, the only guaranteed way to, to lower your cyanuric acid levels. Which leads you to the next question, how much water do I need to drain and refill? Well, it depends on quite a few factors. So I've made a cyanuric acid calculator, um, which can help you work out how much water to drain and refill to your pool to achieve your target concentration. And we'll take a quick look at that right now. So here is the pool stabilizer calculator available at pooladvisor.com.au. There'll be a link to this in the description below. Here's how it works. First of all, you need to enter your pool volume in liters. So if we had, for example, a 50,000 liter pool, we would type that in, and then you can enter your current cyanuric acid concentration. That might be say 60 ppm, and you wanna reduce that down to say 50 ppm. The calculator would then tell you that you need to drain and refill some of your pool water to lower the concentration. And that in particular, specifically, you need to uh, drain and refill 8,300 liters of your pool water to reach the um, target that you've set of 50 ppm cyanuric acid. Um, be, bear in mind that when you are draining and refilling water from your pool, um, you do need to be careful to not do too much at once. If you have a high water table around you, you can um, experience a phenomenon where your pool can, can get forced out of the ground due to the difference in, in water pressure inside your pool and in the, the soil around your pool. So just keep that in mind. Always drain and refill in steps. Don't do it all, all in one go. And that's pretty much how the pool cyanuric acid calculator works. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this video on low cyanuric acid in swimming pools. Please leave a comment below to let me know what you thought of it. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching. 